what is happening in Benue. This is the level the Chinese people are raping our economy here in Kwande. And this is on daily basis. This happens on daily basis. What they are taking outside, nobody is aware yet. Because there's nobody to check what they are conveying out, what they are carrying out, and where they are selling it, and the value of what they are carrying. The entire state is just looking at these people and what they are doing. This is the level the Chinese people are raping our economy on a daily basis. This is what they pick out of only Kwande local government on hourly basis. And nobody is looking at this. We don't even know the value of what they are carrying out of this place. We don't know the content of what they are carrying because they did not allow anybody to take analysis of the natural resources they are taking out of Kwande local government. And this is so appalling. It's so alarming that they are doing this on a daily basis. Taking this to China on a daily basis. This is what is happening in Benue. This is the Chinese people conveying mineral resources from Benue State, Kwande local government, down to Lagos. Exporting this on a daily basis. There are more than 30 to 40 trailers coming out of only Kwande local government on a daily basis. This is, why the, this is what is happening and the government needs to be aware and we need to know the content of what they are carrying out of this place. This is so, so terrible. This is terrible. They have more than 20 trucks just this morning in Adiko market today conveying this on a daily basis out of this local government. This is what is happening. This is what is happening. I think Benue people who are enlightened are supposed to be aware of this. Because what is happening here is beyond what you are seeing. This is Kwande local government, I did for this morning. We don't know, we don't even know the content of what they are carrying outside. They are doing this on daily basis. Look at them. Look at this. This is... This is Adiko this morning. This is Adiko this morning. Evacuation of raw materials to Asia on daily basis. This is Adipo this morning. Content of lithium, capitalites, gold, everything. Okay. They are carrying it out of this place. This is Adipo. Headquarters of Kwande local government. And this is only Adipo. Jatoka is there, Oboma is there, all these places are there. This is just Adiko this morning. It's so alarming. All right, wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information as to the world. In case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification button. So that whenever our news drop, you go be the first one collect them. Well, let's go down to the news proper as it is hot. It don't shall uh, the information will be said it is run for my table now. We say the governor will be said there for Anambra State. Where did they call Chukuma Nani Soludo? Don't collect Choma Ajungwa as Katakata the rubble for that part of Anambra State. As it be now, uh, life information where they come to me be say five people have been feared dead. Others injured as security operatives engage gunmen in Anambra State to Edon Shele and as security operatives and the gunmen. And then they holler this one and now for Anambra State, now in this one they happen. I say when this kind of things uh, go stop for our community, 
sometimes uh, when I come across this kind of news, I say, Chai, uh, when I've been there a little bit small, uh, apart from the Nigeria Biafra civil war, then uh, some of this issue of insecurity, uh, we used to hear it, it happened in Libya, it happened in, you know, other places. Uh, and we thought that a place called the Biafra land uh, would be exempted. At a time, we started hearing it in the Saharas. And we thought that that is going to be the end of it. From there, it came into the plateaus, came into the Benues, and now it is domiciled with us in the southeastern part of Nigeria, Biafra land, as it be. Uh, make I carry you go into the full details of the information. I send you on a rune better and then I got a chine coco. I beg make you not pray. I can say government panel, uh, people went out to the rich, made they talk to the government. I beg uh, government, uh, this one they will hand because if I want to stop all this insecurity, when I go stop them, when I know all the loopholes, when I know what you're supposed to do, make all these things start. Stop. I see there be at least five persons were killed and others injured during a gun duel between security operatives and gunmen on Tuesday in Anambra State. The incident took place when the Anambra Joint Security Task Force, JSF, invaded two camps of the gunmen in Agulu, Ezechuku, Aguatakansu area and the Oboji, Oboji, Orumba South Council area respectively it was gathered that during the raid by the security operatives some items likely locally fabricated locket ranchers charms police uniforms among others were recovered though an Umbra police spokesman Iken Gachochuku did not disclose the casualty figures it learned that four gunmen and a police operative spied during the sh shootout a statement by the police command in Oka on Wednesday explained the hunt for the gunmen had been extended to Obofia Forest, Agulese Chuku and Oboji areas. And this one they happen live uh, in Anambra State where uh, gunmen and uh, the men of uh, uh, what did they call them? The men of uh, NIG Army and their task force team, the Quatari are there. <laughs> Uh, if to say na boys waiting for my area, they go say na three zero or na two zero. Uh, I go ask them this two zero na they count. They say na scores na they count to. You don't shell it. I say people will be say if they reach mouth to talk. I beg, make una carry matter. I uh, look for the matter where we say if they happen uh, to this obodo uh, because uh, plenty plenty things where we say don't they happen. They don't plenty when well. And some of them uh, no be waiting with ourselves, go use ourselves handle uh, because na government na they know how to handle some of these things and it go better. Uh, but the government has decided, you know, uh, not to put mouth into some of these things. I see if the issue of uh, insecurity and the rest of them has become a means of survival. Uh, it has become more like a lucrative business for some people. Uh, but one thing is sure uh, that na ebonye neri ebonye na loko na wachi and uh, as na uh, mosini ne bunkonyo shi uh, otu mbosu bukwa nkonye wono every day na for the thief one day na for the owner of them house as it be you don't share it <clears throat> meanwhile uh, for information what we say you don't enter my table they say Igbo group don't give mwike Seven days to apologize over derogatory statement. <laughs> this one, na Igbo youth and the wiki, and then the battle. This one, I see the big Igbo community assembly in the FCT has given the FCT minister yes on wiki five seven days automaton to apologize to the Igbos over alleged derogatory comment he made against them during the demolition of an estate belonging to Prince Nicholas. Okachuku in Asorok District. The chairman of the assembly, Honorable Ustade Mawoye, gave the ultimatum on Wednesday at a press briefing threatening the minister with the wrath of all Igbos and girls of Igbo land he failed, if he fails to tender a public apology within the period. Uh, Idon Shele, uh, Kasaladon boss, it looks as if I'm 
for this Obolo Nigeria, everybody uh, is now uh, taking the Igbo uh, to be any kind of thing. Meanwhile, as it be, um, as this man the lament, he said, Honorable One, you pointed out that the group was surprised that week of Igbo extraction from River State would question the rationale behind the land allocation to an Igbo developer. It has come to our notice about the alleged regulatory statement of the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barestaye Sonwike, when he went to demolish the property of one of our illustrious sons in the person of Honorable Evangelist Prince Nicholas Chukujeku Okachuku, MAF Moye said. Such a derogatory statement is totally uncalled for and should not be swept under the carpet because we the Igbos are not commoners in this country, Nigeria, and the world at large. Mike should apologize to the Igbos for using the alleged derogatory language that why should an Igbo man be given such massive land and that he has dealt with Igbos in Patakot and we do same here in Abuja. He went to remind him that Abuja is not Patakot. Abu Moye insisted the comment was not only derogatory but also intimidating. He therefore appealed to President Bola Tinubu to call on the minister to order. Moye also accused Wike of violating a court order by carrying out the estate demolition. The Igbo Community Assembly in the FCT also wants the minister to apologize to judiciary for alleging that judges sell out orders. Uh, when I don't see how they happen, uh, I get this song where uh, we sing that and they say, Why yonka, why yonka? Now go now, one up, now go now, one up. Na go na bwane kwe, wwa yonka, wwa yonka. Na go na bwane kwe, na go na bwane kwe. Na go na bwane kwe, muna giyi, muna giyi yoga. Na go na bwane kwe, na go na bwane kwe. Wwa go na, wwa yonka, cholo munke mo. Na go na bwane kwe, na go na bwane kwe. Na go na bwane kwe. Ha 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 ha. Oh ya wwa. Deba isu no chun wako wada. Eh, mana wako kuno nguye mwen wo mwo so. Eh, wata go. I see the be for the matter where we say the concern the be France and the Igbo. Uh, if we hear some week it will be the federal uh, capital minister. Uh, we will be say because uh, Tinubu can't enter office, can't carry and put there. Uh, one go use vestation follow the Igbo uh, because he felt that the Igbo has dominated a lot of places in Abuja. Let him remember that the Igbo has started going to Abuja before him. And the Igbo knows how to develop. You know, some of these develop, developed place that if you go to Lagos, uh, Lagos State are dragging. Now, Wiki has come to Abuja to frustrate Ndibo. Some people did not see future. They did not see future in that particular area. But Igbo people came, saw the future there, bought the environment, built the building. Or kept it. After some years, they, they, they developed it as an estate. Where others did not see and the wiki is asking why should an Igbo man be given such a vast, uh, 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 large land to, to develop an estate. All the things, John Deba is now okay, okay, one. No, the things, He also said that he has dealt with the Igbo in, in Potter Court. So if you are an Igbo man and you are buying land in Potter Court, uh, I say sorry, you. Sorry, because by this time you already know uh, what is happening to you. You already know how it be. You already know uh, who is fighting you and who is following you up. Meanwhile, now here I got the wine and the content. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news enter, you'll be the first one collect. And thank you for listening. God bless you.